who's watching? And you're like, dude, I am in. I'm all in. Yes, I want to win. Yes, I want to commit to changing my life. Yes, I want to be successful. Yes, I want to earn six figures this year. I'm telling you, you can and you will when and if you apply these eight rules. So from cold calling and cold door knocking, I went and earned $117,000 in my first eight months. Now I spend time traveling the world helping insurance agents succeed. And I am here right now because I want to help you succeed. Okay, so let's go through my eight rules to 8%. Okay, here's what you gotta promise me. You gotta promise me that you're going to stick around. You're gonna stay notes, you're gonna stay engaged, you're gonna ask questions, and you're gonna make a commitment to be successful right away. You in? Let's go then, let's dive in. Okay, eight rules to 8%. Rule number one, rule number one is you need to, you have to focus on revenue. You have to focus on revenue. A lot of insurance agents, they walk into the office or they're at home working virtually and they are standing by the printer, they're going to the bathroom, they're hanging out in the living room, they're watching Netflix, they're talking to someone in the break room, they're, 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 they're thinking about making calls but they check email instead, they're thinking about making calls but they go and check on social media and hang out on Facebook. Right Before you know it, they go take a two hour lunch or they go to lunch with somebody or they take lunch by themselves and they turn on the TV. And then before you know it, they're like, okay, I need to check some more emails. I need to, I need to, uh, I need to check on some pending and to check on some policies and to meet with my manager. I need to call my, you know, my uncle. And before you know it, it's 4.30 and we've done nothing all day. And we leave and, and we're like, well, I need to make calls, but I will make calls tomorrow. True or true? Yes or yes? I will make calls tomorrow. Here's what I've learned to be true. Here's what I know. If, when and if you start to focus on revenue, everything will change. You have to focus on making sales and making money every single day. It, it's a choice. It's an option. It's a mindset. I tell our salespeople in our office, I've got, I've got, we've got, I've got six companies now in the insurance industry that earn over $10 million a year. And I tell our sales teams, I say, hey, when you show up at 8.30 and you leave at 5.30 and you don't make a sale all day, why did you show up to begin with? As a salesperson, your number one priority is to make sales. If you don't make sales, that's a problem. Your, your, your number one priority is to make sales before you even service people, right? Before you even go and start handling customer service and start doing this and that. Before you even respond to emails, your number one job is to prospect to make sales, to find people that you can help, and then to close them. Rule number one is to focus on revenue. You're on here because you want to win. So my question to you is, will you focus on revenue in 2021? Okay, I sure hope you will, all right? Rule number two. Rule number two is to focus on your true potential, to focus on your true potential versus where you currently sit, by the way. Who out there gets dissatisfied or sad or depressed or things aren't going my way or I wanna get there faster or I wanna win, I wanna go there, I wanna start being successful but I want it now, I'm impatient, right? My type of personality wakes up frustrated like I've never accomplished anything in my life. I want to reach and get as close as I can to my full potential. I haven't arrived and I hope I never do. But here's what I can tell you. I'm focused on my true potential because what a lot of people struggle with while we get sad and depressed and down and why things don't go our way is because we focus on where we currently sit, our current skill level, our current knowledge, where we currently are versus where we're going. The question for you is, where are you going? What is your true potential? Are you chasing it? Are you going after it? Are you committed to winning and getting better every single day? Because if you are, then you'll focus on your true potential versus where you currently sit. I'm telling you, focus on your true potential versus where you currently are. And everything will start to change. Three years ago, Everything started to grow and get better for me. We're shopping for airplanes right now. Why? Because I'm focused on where I'm going 
my potential, not where I currently sit. It will keep you humble, right? It will keep you focused on doing something massive. It will keep you focused on doing something big. It will keep you focused on moving forward if you focus on your true potential and where you want to be and how good you're going to be and where you're going to end up versus where you currently sit. Who's going to commit to applying rule number two in 2021? Okay, rule number three, short-term targets, by the way, short-term targets. I've got a question. Help me out. Who set a goal last year that you did not hit? Or you've had a goal in the, in, 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 in the distant past that you set you set a goal for last year and you did not hit it. Okay, I'm gonna ask you, why do you think you didn't hit the goal? Why do you think you didn't hit the goal? Most people would say, well, maybe I didn't work hard enough. Maybe, I didn't, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I didn't spend enough money, right? Maybe I didn't do this. Maybe I, didn't, maybe I don't know enough. I'm new. We can make excuses for a lot of other stuff, okay? Here's what I've learned. Most people wanna make $100,000. Right? You, you may say, hey, dude, I would love to make $50,000, $25,000, right? Whatever, okay? Whatever it is. I know that most people don't hit their goals because they're too small. And that, that's, that, that's weird to a lot of people because you're like, dude, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You said I, I didn't hit the goal. It can't be because it's too small because I didn't hit it. That means it was too big. No. You didn't hit your goal because it was too small. It was too small. And what I mean by that is it didn't get your attention. It didn't challenge you. It didn't push you. It didn't move you. It didn't get you constantly moving forward in an offensive posture, trying to focus on winning. Okay, short-term targets does that for me. So when I set a target of 100K, right, for a year, for example, that's $2,000 per week. What I really want to do is I want to have a target every seven days, 14 days, 30 days. And what I want to do is I want it to pull me in that direction, right? We just had our 8% Nation virtual conference with 10,000 insurance agents on it. And we filled that in 28 days, by the way. That's a massive target. Like if I was you watching right now, and if I were to go into the Philippines and start selling life insurance with you, Okay, and move in with you and we were to hang out and sell a bunch of insurance together. What I would do is I would try to sell 100 life insurance policies in a month because it's big enough to challenge me. It's big enough to pull me in a positive direction. And I use short-term targets to help me reach the big target because it's really easy to say I want to make $100,000 over the course of a year and then to forget about the target, to forget about where you're going. It's so simple to say because you're going to get bored. If you're focused on one target for an entire year, you're going to get bored. It's, you're never going to make it. So use short-term targets along the way to pull you in that direction, to get you to do a lot of production in a short amount of time. Anytime we do like, well, I went, to, I went in, in, in around the state of Texas in the US and I did a free training tour and I was trying to get a thousand agents to register for that in person in 13 days. I wanna do something massive, but I wanna do it in a short amount of time. But here's what you gotta do, okay? When you commit to doing something, you, you, here's the steps to that, right? You wanna set short-term targets, great. You have to set short-term targets to win. But here's the key behind it. Number one, it's gotta be insane and massive and ridiculous because it scares you, it gets you out of your comfort zone, it puts you in a place of fear, and it makes you pay attention and focus. Okay, good. That's the first thing, it's gotta be insane, it's gonna be massive. Can we agree the next time you set a target, it's gonna be massive insane, good. The second thing is you have to go tell everyone, all over Facebook, all over social media, all over the virtual conference, all your friends, all your family, everybody you work with, you have to go tell everyone, you have to make it public. Because if it's insane, it's gonna get my attention. If it's massive, it's going to get my attention. Yes or yes, right? True or true. And then if I go tell everyone that I'm going to do it and then I don't do it, I'm embarrassing myself. So I want to be, ma I want to be short term, right? I want to be massive 
and I want to tell everyone because it's going to force me to level up. I'm telling you, when you apply these eight rules, when you download the free ebook, you take the gift and you read all six pages and you apply it, okay, promise me you will, and then you go and you take these eight rules. It will help you become a part of the 8% that actually succeed in our industry. You're here because you want to succeed. Who wants to succeed and win in 2021? Who is going to commit to setting short-term targets this year? Because long-term targets don't work. They get bored. They take too long to get there. They don't keep your attention. They don't challenge you. And they don't pull you in a positive posture constantly throughout the year. Okay, rule number four. Rule number four, never quit. Never quit. I want to challenge you to never quit. The only reason you fell out of the industry is because you choose to quit. You throw in the towel. I know that life gets really good in the insurance industry as long as you choose not to quit. The agents that are on here that have been in this for a while, end up having a ton of success in the insurance industry. Why? Because they chose not to quit. They chose not to quit. Quitting is a choice. Quitting is an option. Quitting is a mindset. It's a mindset that I don't want you to give in. I don't want you to quit. I'm telling you, there's gonna be a lot of times in 2021 where you're thinking about quitting, your back's against the wall, and you're like, dude, I'm thinking about giving up. Yes or no? right? I'm thinking about giving up. I'm telling you, when that arises and that comes in, please don't do it. Never quit, okay? Here's a quick story. Okay, here's a quick story. My dad, and this taught me to show up, right? I, I was 16 years old. I was supposed to go work at a local grocery store at 4 o'clock. I go to my dad at 3.30 and I tell my dad, hey, I'm not feeling well. I'm throwing up, okay? Because I was throwing up at home, but I was supposed to go to work. I go to my dad, hey, I'm throwing up. I don't feel well. I don't want to go to work today. Who's ever had that happen? Like, you're like, yeah, yeah, I've had that happen, man. I've, 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 I've had plenty of times where I didn't want to show up today. I didn't want to show, I didn't want, I didn't want to go to work. And my dad said something that changed my life forever. My dad told me, you do whatever you want to do, but you know what I would do. And I'm like, dang, that got my attention because I did not want to go to work. So every, now I ended up going to work, right? Come on, dad. Like I went to work, but here's what I've learned along the way. There's going to be a lot of days where you don't feel like showing up. There's going to be a lot of days where you don't feel like going to work. There's going to be a lot of days where you don't feel like doing what you know you need to do. Do it anyway. Show up anyway. Commit anyway be your best self anyway and do whatever it takes anyway here's what i know with our virtual conference that we did in 2020 previously not this past one the theme was if you don't quit you can't fail that's the secret if there's a secret to learn it's if you don't quit you cannot fail you're here because you don't want to fail you're here because you want to win. You're here because you want to make a lot of money. You're here because you want your life to change. You're here because you want to be an insurance agent, a successful one forever. Yes or no? If you don't quit, you cannot fail. Quitting is a choice. Quitting is an option. Quitting is a mindset. And as long as you choose that, dude, I'm never going to quit. Life is going to get really good. You're going to make more money. You're going to help a lot of people and the industry is going to get unbelievable. So I want to challenge you, never quit. Okay. Let me move to rule number five. Rule number five, remove limiting beliefs. Remove limiting beliefs beliefs. Okay. Here's what that means. Remove limiting beliefs. Here's what that means. Okay. We all have these limiting beliefs or these mental barriers or these things that are mentally holding us back from taking the next level in our life. Whether you believe it or not, there are things holding you back right now, right here. Like for example, you don't like to get out of your comfort zone and operate in a place of fear. 
Yes or no. You're afraid to spend money because you don't think you can get it back. You can, maybe, maybe you care what everyone else thinks. Ooh. You care what your friends think. You care what your family thinks. They tell you, hey, go get a real job. Right? When I got married, my in-laws told me, told my wife, maybe Cody should go get a real job. Man. Because you get health insurance and 401k and all sort of stuff, right? If you have a real job. Man, am I glad I didn't get a real job. Because life gets really good. As long as you stick it out in the insurance industry. Okay, so here's the challenge. I want you to take a second and identify the limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs are things that are in your brain that you think about that are holding you back from taking the next level in your life. They're holding you back from skilling up. They're holding you back from going to a whole nother level in your business. I'm telling you, you've got mental barriers, things that are, that, that, that are limiting you. They're beliefs. Maybe you were taught the beliefs. Maybe you were raised that way, thinking that way. Whatever it is, I'm telling you, you have beliefs that are limiting your success. Because here's what I believe. I believe we all have a cap on, our, on, 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 on how big we can think. And you want to do your best to raise that lid up over time by thinking bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Every time you do something outside of your comfort zone and you challenge yourself to overcome one of those limiting beliefs, you raise your lid just a little bit, okay? You raise the lid just a little bit. These limiting beliefs are holding you back from taking the next level in your life. They're holding you back from being the best version of you. They're holding you back from leveling up, from skilling up, from taking the next level and to owning your life and being the best version of you. Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta identify what are these limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Some of us, some of you may have an ego. You think you're the, think you're the you know, you think you're God's gift to the world, okay? Maybe that's holding you back. Maybe you care what your parents and family think. Maybe, you, maybe you, you're afraid of spending money. Maybe you're scared, afraid of doing stuff you don't want to do. Maybe you think something's going to be difficult. The more you tell yourself life and something is going to be difficult, the more difficult it's going to be. Okay, This is a mindset game. You want to succeed in the insurance industry? Listen to me. This is a mindset game. It's all up to you. It's a choice. It's a decision. It's a mindset. It's all right here. What you know about the products is irrelevant if you don't get your freaking mindset right. Okay, if you don't get your mindset correct and right. So, you have to identify what those limiting beliefs are. Okay, good. Because I've given several examples. Then you have to do your very best to remove those, to eliminate those, and to overcome those. Here's how you do it. So, say one of your limiting beliefs is um, you worry about what everybody else thinks. Then do something crazy without caring what anybody else thinks, and then see what happens. Or you're afraid of spending money. Then spend money and put it in you so that you can get better. That's what it's all about, okay? You have to remove these before you can go to the next level in your life. Makes sense? Okay, for me, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was spending money on me. So I was, three years ago, I spent $15,000 to go to an event to make me better. Last year, I spent $25,000 to go to a mastermind. The year before that, I spent $25,000 on a coach, right? Like I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars the last three years, probably 300 grand the last three years investing in me. Why? Because I need to be the best version of me for everything to change. Remember what I said earlier, for everything to change, you got to change. Are you going to change this year? Here's, here's the point too. I believe this, by the way. I believe that you go there in the mind before you go there in the body. So the question is, are you going to go there? And you got to go there up here before you can ever go there out here. Okay, rule number six. Rule number six is all about effort. It's all about effort. Okay, here's what I know to be true. Let me know what your goal is right now. I want to know what is your goal? How much money would you like to make this year? Go ahead and tell me right now. Okay, go ahead and throw it in chat and comments. I want to know how much money do you want to make this year? Boom. Great. Okay, how much money do you want to make? Okay, good. There's only three things that can hold you back from making that amount of money this year. Okay, S say your goal is 50000 Okay, there's only three things that can hold you back from doing this. Okay, there's three things that can hold you back from hitting your goal. Who wants to know what those are? Yes, right? First one 
is effort. You may not work hard enough to hit that goal. You may be lazy. You may not put in the work. Effort is a choice though. Effort is an option. How hard we make is a, how hard we work is a hundred percent up to us. Yes or yes. So if that's true, we can choose to put in the effort to succeed. Correct? Okay, good. The second thing that can hold you back from, 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 from making whatever your goal is happen this year. Second thing is skill. S K I L L skill. You, may not be skilled enough. You may not be good enough to hit $50,000 or whatever your goal is, whatever your target is, right? Your skill may be weak. Now this free gift, a free ebook is going to fix that, right? It's free. You might as well download it, right? So, but it, it will help improve your skill. Skill, like think about the best insurance agent you know, okay? And you may be thinking about me. I'm thinking about somebody else, okay? Think about the best insurance agent you know. If you want to get as good as they are and you want to download their brain and put it into yours and get as good as they are at selling life insurance, could you? Yes. Now it may take time. You may have to listen to audiobooks and books and role play and listen and train and invest in yourself and all this other stuff. But if you want to get better over time and eventually be really good at selling insurance, you can be. Correct. Yes. Okay then. So if that's true and skill is a choice because you've got to put in the effort to increase your skill, that means that for you to get better and your skill to go up, boom, is a choice based on how much effort you put in to get better. Correct? Okay. Watch this. This is good. This is where it gets real good. Third thing that could hold you back from hitting your income or your target or your goal this year is knowledge. Okay. It's knowledge. You may not know enough to hit your target. You may not know enough to hit your goal. You may not know enough to make that amount of money that you want to make. But if you want to know, we can know, can't we? If you want to know everything I know about cells and you want to download my brain into yours, you could over time. Correct? Yes. However, you may not know enough to make that goal a reality, which means you're not putting in the effort to know what you need to know, which means if knowledge means putting forth effort and if skill means putting forth effort, then it all comes back to effort. Effort is the name of the game. We choose how much effort we put in. We choose how good we get. We choose how much we know. You control the amount of effort that you put in. Okay. Here's a couple questions for you. Here's a little self-assessment. A couple questions for you right now. How pleased are you with your effort and how hard you pushed last year? Okay. What's your goal for this year? Probably more than it was for last year. And can you, the, the, the real question is, can you put the same amount of effort that you put in last year? this year and still hit your goal? The answer is probably no, which means you've got to put in more effort. You've got to push harder. You got to go for it. You got to get serious and you got to get after it this year. Okay. Now effort is the name of the game. You choose how much effort you put in and how hard you work. Okay. Rule number seven, rule number seven is train daily. You have to train every single day in my office. Like we have a cell system to where insurance agents with 420 modules where insurance agents can train every single day. Okay. You can go to CodyAskus.com to check it out after you download the ebook. Okay. Now in my office, we train twice a day, 8:30 and 1:30. every sales team I have, we train twice a day, 8:30 and 1:30. And here's what we do during those times. We watch sales training videos. Can you watch sales training videos? Yes. We discuss what we learned. Could you discuss what you learned with yourself or with somebody else? Yes. And then we role play twice a day as well. Now role play. Most people think oh, I, I, I'm by myself. You can role play with your spouse or a friend or, or, or a kid or in the mirror. 
You can role play by yourself. Role playing may be cheesy, awkward, weird, and you don't enjoy it, but I'm telling you, I make average salespeople great because they choose to get really good at role playing and practicing. Now, here's the prob problem that most people make when they role play. Number one, you need to stand up when you role play. Okay, good. The second thing you gotta do is when we role play, because we, again, we do two trainings a day, 10 trainings a week. When we role play, we don't change up what we role play every single session, every single day. We choose a small segment of the cell, one objection that you're struggling with. Or maybe it's the close, asking the closing question. Maybe you're, maybe you're used to asking, hey, what do you think? That's a horrible question to ask. Please stop asking it today. Okay? Or maybe you want to practice building rapport or trial closing or engagement or asking for referrals, right? Or, or following up or whatever it is. Pick one thing that you need to get better at. Like if I were to ask you right now, what's the one thing that you're struggling with the most? It's probably either objections or closing, if I had to guess. Okay, but write that down. Whatever it is, objections or closing. Or something else, okay? Let's just say it's an objection. Maybe, maybe you struggle with someone telling you, I want you to call me back. Or call me, or, or, or call me later. Or I want to think about it. The dreaded objection. When you get that, what do you do? Like if, I, if you were to sitting here, you were selling me insurance right now, and I were to say, I want to think about it. Boom. What would you say? Live call. It happens all the time. Do you know what to say? How to respond? That ebook's going to help you with that. Okay? CodyAskins.com forward slash ebook. Here's what I want you to do. When we role play 10 times a week, twice a day, five days a week, here's what we do. We role play one specific piece. So if we struggled with that, for example, that one objection, we would role play that objection Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. We would role play the same objection 10 times, t 10 sessions in a row. The whole week, we'd role play the exact same thing. Okay. Also, we get up and we do some energy, jumping jacks, push-ups, run around the building, something. Okay. If you're scared of working the phone, try to get your energy up. Try to do some jumping jacks. Try to work out, right? Try, try, try to move. Try to do some push-ups. Okay. I'm telling you, it will help. So we do all of those things twice a day, every single day. Training isn't something you did, it's something you do. It's not a nice to have, it's a must have. I believe that insurance agents that train every single day will succeed. They will be successful, they will change their lives, they will make more money, their income will go up and they will help a lot more people. If you want your income to go up, you want to help a lot of people, and you want to succeed, then boom, you will train every single day right? Audiobooks, books, my CA cell system, watch all my YouTube videos, right? We've got 2,000 free videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Cody Askins. Look me up on YouTube, okay? Make sure you subscribe today, not tomorrow, okay? Because you want to get great, you will train and learn every single day. Here's rule number eight, okay? Rule number eight, are these good or are these good? Okay. I've loved being with you guys, man. You guys are amazing. I'm having a ton of fun. Rule number eight. Okay. Rule number eight. Invest in yourself. What's the most valuable asset you have? You. You are the most valuable asset you have. And you have to choose to invest in yourself. Now, I would invest money if I was you. Yes, because that shows me you're serious. You have to pay to pay attention. But you can also invest time and energy, right? Downloading and going to that ebook and reading it and training it and role playing it and practice it and reading the script to yourself over and over and over again and using the objections that are in the ebook for what to say and actually doing what it says for, for following up. I've got my 12 touch follow-up system for how you can follow up 12 different times, text, emails, scripts, etc. in the first 72 hours, 12 touch follow-up system, boom, for free in the ebook, okay? You can spend time investing time in that. You've, in, you've invested time and energy into downloading the ebook and getting great at it. Now, what, what does that do? By choosing to do that, that shows me that you're serious and you're choosing to invest in you, yourself, the most valuable asset you have. Because here's what I know. It is all up to you. 
It's all up to you. The best, the most successful, the most wealthy insurance agents I know around the planet, the whole world, planet Earth, here's what they do. They invest in themselves. I believe that you should invest 10% of your personal income back into you, by the way, because you're the most valuable asset you have. Time's valuable too, but you're the most valuable asset you have. The better you are, the farther you go. The better you are, the better the results. The better you are, the more successful you are. The better you are, the more money you make, and the better you are, the farther you go. The more people you help. You wanna help a lot of people, right? Then get great at this business. It's a choice, it's on you, it's up to you. It's all up to you. You have to choose to be the best version of you. Okay, now, who loves these and is going to apply all eight of these rules this year? Yes, true, correct, you're going to, I'm telling you. For everything to change, you gotta change. Apply these eight rules and you will get great. You will have the best year of your life and everything will start to change. Why? Because you chose to change. Because you chose to change. Okay, here's my challenge to you. I wanna challenge you to go for it this year. To set a goal, to go for it, and to do whatever it takes. Step one, set a target. Step two, go for it. Every single day, whether you feel like it or not, show up and go for it. And step number three, do whatever it takes to win this year. Doesn't matter, you do it. Why? Because this is your year. 2021 is your year. 2021 is the time. It's the moment where everything begins to change for you. So here's my challenge, okay? It's 2020. I, I want you to look back in 10 years, 2031, and be able to say, in 2031, in 10 years, I'm, you're so successful now. You make so much money now. In 2031, 10 years later, you are so filthy rich. 10 years later, you helped so many people. You changed the industry, you changed your family, you changed your future, all because of what you did in 2021. The time is now, the year is now, it's time to expand. 2021 is the year of expansion. And as long as you apply all eight of these rules, life is going to get really, really good. Okay, make sure you apply these eight rules. Make sure you don't forget about the free ebook, codyaskins.com forward slash ebook. Totally free, totally free, totally free. Last chance to download it and it's, or it's gone forever. Go get it, okay? And also, go get it this year. Let me know if I can help, okay? Follow me on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, at Cody.Askins on Instagram. I'm here to help. I care about you. I wanna see you be successful. I'm telling you, now is the time. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Thank you so much. I wanna thank Cody and Lauren for putting this on. Give those guys a big hand for doing this. Amazing, amazing event, okay? Amazing, really, you guys are awesome. Like, when he called and said, hey, would you do this deal? The fact that they're willing to